know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. In order to change the back drums of your vehicle, you must lift the back of your vehicle and remove the wheels to have full access to the drum brakes. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. You can now see the drum brakes on your car. Before starting, release the handbrake, otherwise the operation will be impossible. Using a hammer and a large flathead screwdriver, remove the cover on the drum brake. With a T-handle wrench, a long extender and a 21mm socket, release the central nut on the brake drum, then remove it. You can now remove the brake drums by making small movements back and forth. You can now access the brake mechanism. Using a flathead screwdriver, unclip the lining by levering the holding clips. You can now remove it. Once all the lining has been removed, you can use needle nose pliers to remove the locking clip on the handle brake cable. Then remove the whole thing. With brake cleaner, clean the plate to take off the brake dust left by wear and tear on the linings. You should also replace the brake cylinder essential component in the good working of the system. To do this, take an 11mm spanner to remove the brake fluid inlet hose and a 10mm spanner to remove the two supporting screws on the cylinder. Take a liquid collector since brake fluid might flow out. Remove the brake cylinder, starting by releasing the hose, then the holding screws. You can now put in place the new brake cylinder. Start by installing the brake conduit, then remove the cylinder screws. Start with a complete tightening of the support screws to facilitate the tightening of the brake conduit. Clean it again to remove the liquid, which might have come out. Once cleaned and dried, grease the support surfaces for the linings with copper grease. If you have a pre-assembled kit, you will only have to put the old linings in place. If not, then on the workbench, prepare the new kit before its installation. Remove the lower spring, then recuperate the automatic system adjustment that you could install in the new system. Put the springs back in.
The hull is now ready to be installed on your car. Put the handbrake cable back in the lining. Then position the linings, starting by putting in place the brake cylinder. Then in the lowest stop. Once properly put back in place, reassemble the holding clips with the new locking tips. On the workbench, clean the drum with the braking fluid. Then, using coarser sandpaper, treat the braking surface to improve its hold. Before putting it in place, it may be necessary to relax the settings on the handbrake cable. Put the internal central nut in place, then reassemble the drum. Put the external central nut in place. You should pay careful attention to properly tighten it using a large socket wrench and a 32mm socket or a torquey wrench. Then, put the cover back on the nut. After changing your brake drums, it is necessary to bleed the brake fluid to remove the bubbles in the system. We strongly advise you to watch the tutorial Bleeding the Brake Fluid System. To set the cable tension, check that the brake drum can turn quite freely by lightly brushing the brake linings. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Then, you can put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put the car on the ground and finally, fix the wheels in place correctly. Operation completed.